Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm Mike Drotus, Bible teacher and preacher, and you've tuned into my YouTube channel, Solving the Prophetic Puzzle. I'd like to share a verse with you, Revelation chapter 22, verse 7. Behold, I am coming quickly. These are the words of Jesus. Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the words of this prophecy, of this book. There's a blessing when you study and read the book of Revelation. Today, I want to stay in the book of Revelation and look at the seven seals that John mentioned that was on this scroll. In John chapter 4, we read that um, John was called up to heaven. He was on the island of Patmos, and he was called up to heaven. John went to the very throne room. He saw the throne of God, and he saw God seat, seated on that throne. He saw the 24 elders. He saw the four beasts. And then he saw a scroll. And in verse chapter 5, it says, And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside, and on the back sealed with seven seals. So he saw a scroll, and it was rolled up. And inside there was writing, but on the outside there were seven seals. There were seven seals holding the scroll closed. And no one could open the scroll until the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Jesus Christ, received that scroll. Revelation chapter 6, we read that the Lamb begins to open the seals one at a time. And verse 6, chapter 6, Now I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures say with a loud voice, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a white horse. He who sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given to him. And he went out to conquer, and to conquering and to conquer. The first four horses the first four seals are four horsemen of the apocalypse. There's the white horse. There's the red horse. There's the black horse. And there's the pale horse or the green horse. Interesting fact, just the other day, I was watching a speech by President Joe Biden. He was in the Middle East. He was sitting at a great conference table and he was reading from his speech. And there was people surrounding him from delegates from different nations. And they had tiny little flags uh, in front of them and I looked at the flags and most of the flags had these four colors. They were had white, red, black, and green. And I smiled to myself and said, there's another sign of the, the seals, the first four seals of the book of Revelation, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. It's right there before our eyes. I believe that, that the first rider, the white horse rider has been already opened. That seal has already been opened. And it occurred in the year 2020. I remember vividly where I was at. I was, in, I was in the airport at Lima, Peru. We had just gotten done with a great missionary campaign. And we were coming home. And I was in the airport with my friends. And everyone was wearing masks over their face. And I asked my friend, what happened? I know we've been away for a week. But how, what is going on in the world? And my friend said, I think this is that virus. And indeed it was. It was the coronavirus. Look at the white horse rider. He had, and I looked and behold, a white horse. He sat, he sat on it, had a bow, and a crown was given to him. A crown, a corona. The translation for crown is corona. This corona, this virus was given to this white horse rider. And he took this and rode all throughout the world, conquering and to conquer and conquering, shutting down nations, killing millions of people, making many people sick, destroying economies, destroying businesses, breaking up families, closing down churches. Never before has anything happened in human history like this virus that has struck the world. And it's still affecting nations all over the world. This white horse rider began to ride in February 2020. The first seal had been opened. The second seal, I believe, was opened in February 2022. The second seal, when he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, come and see. And another horse, fiery red, went out. And it was granted to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth and that people should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword. War. War began to, 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 to occur on the earth. Warfare. The, the nation of Russia invaded the nation of Ukraine. And a great war has started. There's war in Europe. There's a possible war in the Far East with China looking at its neighbor. There is, there is a proxy war being fought right now. 
now between the United States and Russia. There, there is talk of a, a nuclear war or detonating a small nuke to see if that could stop some things. There's biological warfare. There are plans for that. There's a, there's a, a spirit of war that has come upon the earth. And war will only increase as we continue to move forward month after month after month. We are seeing this spirit of war, this red horse rider, ride about the earth now. And it's not going to stop until it reaches the Battle of Armageddon. The third seal is the black horse. The black horse, verse 5, when he opened the third seal, I heard a third living creature say, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius. And do not harm the oil and the wine. This black horse rider is holding scales, representing commerce. There is going to come a time when we're going to experience great inflation, hyperinflation. I just saw the inflation numbers recently. It's 9% now. It's up over 9%. But that is nothing to what's going to happen in the future. This horse hasn't started riding yet, but he's in the stable and he's getting ready to go. This horse is going to bring a wave of hyperinflation upon the land. A day's wage will will only buy a, a loaf of bread. There will be wheat shortages. Isn't it interesting that John saw and heard the guy saying that that there will be a quart of wheat for a day's wage? There's a wheat shortage coming, folks. There's a wheat shortage. There is a there is a fertilizer shortage. There have been droughts. There's there's a food shortage coming. And when you have less food, it causes the prices to go up. That's hyperinflation. And that rider is getting ready to walk, ride the for, fourth horse. The worst one of all, I think, out of the four, when he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come and see. So I looked and behold a pale horse. And the name of him who sat on it was Death, and Hades followed with him. And power was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill a sword with hunger, with death, and by the beast of the earth. This fourth seal will come after the third seal. This green, pale horse, green rider, will, uh, horseman, will ride about the earth, and, and, and many people will die through, through war, through, through hunger, through pestilence. They'll kill each other. This horse is, it has yet to ride, but it will come after the third seal. The fifth seal, as Jesus is opening one seal at a time, is the cry of the martyrs. The sixth seal is, is what I say. The sixth seal is where we see the rapture occur. There's, there's three things that happen in the sixth seal. But look at verse 12. And I looked, Revelation 6, 12, and I looked. And when he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became Black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood, and the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded up as a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave, every free man, hid themselves in caves and in the rocks of the mountains. And they said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne. For the wrath of the Lamb of God has come. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? John is describing the rapture from the point of view of those who are left behind. They see the sky roll up as a scroll as multitudes of people are being raptured. They're being changed in an instant, in a moment, in twinkling of an eye. And the Lamb of God has come to take them away. And those who left feel that they are experiencing the wrath of the Lamb of God. Oh, there's so much more in the sixth seal. But I've done videos on that and teachings on that. And we can always go back to that another time. Revelation chapter, uh, or the seventh seal is the prelude to the judgments. Revelation chapter 8. When he opened the seventh seal, there were signs in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels stand before God and, and to them were given seven trumpets. So the seventh seal is... Uh, after the seventh seal is open, there will come seven trumpet judgments. And then after those seven trumpet judgments will come seven bowl judgments. That's the wrath of God. It's being poured out upon unrepentant men. Those who did not go up in the rapture. Those who received the mark of the beast. And even on the beast and the Antichrist and his system. The wrath of God will be poured out in seven trumpet judgments and seven bowl judgments. The wrath of God won't be poured out on his believers. We're taken out of here. 
but everything goes in order. First the seals, seven seals, then the trumpets, seven trumpets, then the bowls, seven bowls. The seals are on the outside of the scroll. They're on the outside. You have to open each seal and you have to open all seven seals before you can read the scroll. The scroll is the revelation of Jesus Christ. That's why he was able to receive the scroll from God the Father who is seated on the throne. And that's the why he is able to open the seals. This, it's his revelation and he's opening the seals one at a time so that we can get to the scroll. There are many people that believe they're not sure why they believe, they just do. They've always been taught this, and so they just go along with it. That the seals must be part of the seven-year tribulation period. They say, oh, the seven seals are part of the tribulation. That the, and that the first seal must be the Antichrist. And since we, the church, are the restrainer, and they quote 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 for that, we have to be raptured because we're taken out of the way. We're restraining the Antichrist. We have to be raptured prior to the first seal being opened. Because the first seal is the Antichrist. Therefore, when someone like me says that I believe we are seeing the seals opened, I can't be right. I have to be preaching false doctrine. I don't know what I'm talking about. I need to read my Bible, as they say. Go back and read your Bible. That's what they tell me. I can't be right, they assume. A, because we have not been raptured. And B, because the Antichrist is not on the scene. So here's where I wanted to get to. All that to get to this point. We don't need to be looking for the Antichrist. We need to be preparing for our King Jesus to come back. Somebody say amen to that. Stop looking for the Antichrist. He'll come when God tells him to come. We should be looking forward to when God the Father looks to Jesus Christ his Son in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13, 14 through 18. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain shall by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself, Here's what we should be looking for. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore comfort one another with these words. That's what we should be looking for. One final thought on the Antichrist. He will be revealed before the rapture. We will see him if we are alive at that point. He is out there. He's waiting for his time. He's preparing his system. He's working behind the scenes. And when God, the restrainer, when God allows the Antichrist to make his move or allows Satan to make his move, the Antichrist will come on the scene. You may be saying, well, when's that going to be? It's right here in the Bible. Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. But in the middle of the week, he shall bring an end to sacrifices and offerings. Daniel saw that there is one week left, one seven-year period left for the, for, for the Jews, for, for Israel, for the people. And we call that the seven-year tribulation period. But it's actually Daniel's 70th week. And it, will, it begins when the man of sin, the man of perdition, the Antichrist confirms and ratifies a covenant with the many for seven years. It will probably be a Shemitah cycle. It will even probably be something called the covenant with the many. The covenant with the many. It will be very easy to notice. When we see that, we can take note because we can see now that, that, that once that covenant is signed and ratified between different parties, then the clock is ticking. And in three and a half years from that point, that same man who, who ratifies and confirms a covenant with many, that Antichrist will go into the rebuilt Jewish temple and he will declare himself to be God. And he will, he will build an image of himself and cause all people to worship the image and to receive a mark on their hand or forehead 
the mark of the beast. And then we know exactly three and a half years from that, the battle of Armageddon will destroy that and we will go into the millennial kingdom. So I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged that the seals are being opened. We are now in it, folks. Welcome to the last days. When you have the thought that the first seal is the Antichrist, the rider on the white horse, you're pushing everything into the future and you're looking for the Antichrist. No, no, we're in it right now. The first seal was opened in 2020 with the white horse rider. The second seal has already been opened. We're going to see the third seal soon. I say within six or seven months from now. We are in it now. And that encourages me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't liked or subscribed yet, please do. Every week I do one or two videos on, on the rapture, prophecy, or end time. So until next time, keep looking up. Jesus Christ is coming soon. God bless you.